Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. And Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Lorenzo Insigne. One thing he excels at is cutting inside from that left wing, Peter, to take a shot with his right. He's far from a one-trick pony, though, and he's really good at varying his game depending on how the opposition are, are shaping up. Usually, he finds space and he does something very good with it. Well, to disagree with that, it is the sort of situation he thrives in. things on the way and here's Insignia he's gone for it their attempt just the wrong outcome a more than decent attempt Peter Well played, he saw that coming. Well positioned to make that interception. Romani. Forward it goes. Mattel cuts it out. Drives it towards the front. Romani does well there. Alert. And here's Insigne. Lorenzo Insigne. Insigne unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Sambo Anguissa. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to have a good look at one another. Mario Rui goes for the cross. Barro. De Silvestri plays it forward. Nautovic. It is deadlocked. Ball through needs to be good here. Oh, Nautovic goes for a sweeping cross. And that is... Olsen! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Sambo and Gisa. Mattel. Has he found his man? Ospina can pick that up. Zielinski. And it's Arnautovic. Zielinski. 
Zielinski drives it forward. Lorenzo Insigne. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Zielinski. Now it's Insigne. It's on a plate. Tries to get it forward quickly. Arnautovic. Olsen. Olsen proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Koulibaly. Zielinski, Zielinski spreads it towards the left. Look at the defender bombing forward. In with a header! Goal, Napoli! A goal at a really telling moment. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Napoli take the lead. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. And it's half time here. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Napoli, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Looks like he's been taken out there. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Zielinski. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Bologna get it back again. Just brushed off the ball there. No, no way through there. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? He's on his way. He's won. He's gone for it. It's off target and by quite a way. Yeah, they've got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Koulibaly hoists it forward questions were asked but he's given the answers to Silvestri and it's played forward and the ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance Zielinski goes looking Zielinski that's gone a long way up and away Mario Rui, 
does have an assist to his name. Lorenzo Insigne. Tries a shot! That's a half-decent try. Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. He goes long. Done very well to intervene. That's been drilled forward. Romani gets into the right position to intercept. Osiman, a scorer already in the game. It's Insignia! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. De Silvestri attempts a clearance. Sambo and Gisa. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear. Let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort. Mattel. Arnautovic gets into a dangerous position. Arnautovic needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Insigne decides to play it back. This could fall anywhere! The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Napoli are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And the whistle's gone. Because she was for offside. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Really Bali. Ball, it's found its target. Oh, shooting chance! He's pulled off a fine save. Zielinski really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Napoli are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Arnautovic. Arnautovic is onto it and can take it up. Now it's Dominguez. Bologna have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Played out to the right. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Napoli need to hold on for a few more moments. Lorenzo Insigne. Turns and goes back. That's a good ball to find him. Goes for goal. And that is the last effort of the game. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim?